Happy New Year. Hope you all had a great Christmas and had a chance to have a break over the, the Christmas New Year period. Uh, as you know, GTC Financial, our goal is to help our clients exceed their goals and to achieve financial independence. So I've come up with seven New Year resolutions specifically aimed at small and medium business owners to help make 2018 a great year for them. The first one is a bit unusual, but it's to take more time off, have more downtime. As you know, you cannot run a small business if you're burnt out. You certainly can't do it effectively. And the best way to avoid burnout is to have some quality downtime. So what I'd suggest you do, book your next holiday in your diary uh, while you're at it. Why don't you book time out for other holidays that you might want to have throughout the year. Second resolution is to improve your skills. Now we live in the information age. There's a plethora of information out there to help us improve our businesses, make them more effective, or to live more enjoyable and fulfilling lives. Just need to take advantage of it. Uh, I've set myself a goal this year to read 12 business improvement books, um, but I'm an avid reader. If you're not an avid reader, there's plenty of other ways you can get this information. The first one, YouTube clips. Really simple, short, sharp, can help you out. Second one, maybe to enrol in some webinars. We do that all the time at GTC. And the third one is just to get hold of some audio books. Whichever way you find most effective, I would recommend just get in there and do it. Third resolution this year is to delegate more. You're gonna to need to delegate more if you wanna take more time off. However, developing, sorry, delegating more actually helps you develop your team. Um, we've just run a planning session for our accounting team and my three client managers all told me they want to take on more high level work that I'm currently doing. So we, we, I'll be delegating it. To help you delegate it, you will need to get some procedures in place. So my suggestion is you work with those team members to write the procedures, make sure they're effective. The fourth resolution is to set up some key performance indicators and they will simply help you monitor what's happening in your business, give you information very quickly. The fifth resolution is free up cash flow. We all know in small business, cash is king. So you need to identify what's holding or locking up the cash in your business, then working with, with us, for example, or another accounting firm to free up that cash flow and make sure you can get it out. The sixth one, sixth resolution is start focusing on investments that are away from your business. It could be as simple as taking more interest in your superannuation, uh, knowing what it's invested in, making sure the risks are compatible with you. Alternatively, it could just be increasing the superannuation contributions. For something completely different, you might want to set up a whole new investment. I'd certainly recommend seeing a financial planner before you do any of that. The final resolution, which I think is the most important one, is set up a succession plan. We all know that eventually we're going to be selling our business. So whatever, whatever your end game is, you need to start planning for it now. It's up to you to make it happen. So I hope you found those seven resolutions helpful. Um, if there's anything that I can do to help you achieve those goals and work on making yourself financially independent, send me an email, connect with me on LinkedIn, or send a Facebook uh, request through. Cheers.